Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Nali A.K. Owl Tarot and I'm here to bring you guys a message. We're going to see what is coming towards you guys the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to see what are your overall messages and possible outcomes. But before we get started guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless, general love readings, and they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. If the reading resonated with you and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's see what is going on here with you. What is the overall messages for my Aries, the next 24 to 48 hours? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. <clears throat> Expectations. Okay. What else? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Despair. Wow. Okay. One more Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Sudden wealth. Okay. So what I'm really getting here, guys, is that in the recent past, things weren't going the way you wanted them to. Um, there could have been a lot of despair, a lot of sadness, a lot of poverty, possibly. And out of nowhere, um, things just changed. There's an opportunity here of sudden wealth. There's an opportunity of forward movement. But this is happening because you change your expectations, because you change the way of thinking. You change the way of doing stuff. You no longer dwelled on negative energy. You actually started looking at the better things in life. Whether you had something or you didn't, you just started putting out good vibes into the universe. You let go of all that sadness. You let go of all that depression. You let go of all that despair. And you really started being more optimistic in your life. And as you started changing your way of thinking, your, your train of thoughts, um, all of a sudden you brought in this sudden wealth. Now, for some of you guys, you may still be in this energy where you're still sad and depressed. This is just a message for you to start changing your way you're thinking. Look at with the magician here and start manifesting greatness into your life. You got a lot of beautiful things that are waiting to come in and you must start calling those things in. There's, there's some meditation again, once again, the magician. There's some meditation that needs to start happening here, some scripting, some manifestation, but there's a lot of things that are going to get ready to change for you. So you have to change your expectations here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Overall energy here for my Aries, please. Six of Swords. Moving on and moving forward towards calmer waters. So there may have been something in the past that wasn't growing. Some of you guys were going through a lot of financial struggles here. I felt that sometimes it was you didn't have enough for, for the daily routine or for the daily expenses. Okay? You felt like maybe you were never going to be able to get out of the rut or you were never going to be able to, to do something that you wanted to do for yourself or for your family. But again, you started changing the way you looked at life and you started changing the way you felt or even the way you started speaking things into existence. And you changed the direction of this negative energy. Now things are starting to flow a little bit calmer. Maybe work is getting better. Somebody found a new job out there. Somebody found, you know, an opportunity to make money. And all, out of nowhere, there's a sudden wealth. There's more stability. There's more income coming into the home. And it's because you stopped being angry. Okay? King of Swords energy in the reverse. You stopped being angry at the world. And you started taking full responsibility. No more sadness. No more depression. You started cutting that out. And you started doing the work. Now, guys, please keep in mind... For those of you that are not in that energy yet, this is the energy that you're going to be in, okay? Meaning you're going to put the work in, you're going to put the, the energy into the situation, and you're going to start looking at things very different. There's a lot of love that you can give, a lot of love that you can resonate, a lot of love that you can send out to the world, and you're being told to humbleize yourself and do that. With, uh, with work, you can always get whatever it is that you want. Look at with the Knight of Wands. I didn't even see this one in the reverse. I feel that there could have been a lot of a disappointing energy. Like people would promise to help you or people would promise to help you get a job or send you some money and people were just not following through. But now you've changed or you're changing your way of thinking. You're changing the way you're doing stuff. And out of nowhere, things are getting very abundant for you, which is a good thing, obviously. You know, it's no more despair. It's now you expecting good in the uh, good for you, good in the world, and it's all coming in for you out of nowhere. Sudden wealth. 
What else is the overall energy here for my Aries? Two of Swords making decisions, taking the initiative, okay? No more sorrow, no more sadness, no more depression. Moving on and moving forward and being victorious with your energy overall. What else, universe? Ten of Cups, happily ever after. So you see how you go from despair to the happily ever after? Sudden wealth, it's because you've changed the direction. You changed the way of thinking. For some of you guys, this message is just overall telling you, you got to stop being negative. You got to let go of all that negative energy. And you got to be more optimistic. In order for you to be happy, in order for you to call in positivity, you have to be positive with your words. No more saying, oh, I don't have enough money or my bank account is short or um, I don't have a job or I don't... No. I have enough money. I have enough to do. I have enough to give. I have, I have, I have. No more I don't have because the more you speak out I don't, guess what? You're never going to have. And this is a message for you to stop being negative and start being positive so you can call in all those beautiful energies. Those of you guys that are alone and single and you want to be with someone, then you call it out. I have the perfect partner. I have the perfect person I want to be with. I have the person that loves me. Or my ex, I want them to come back. Or they have came back and guess what? Eight of cups, they come back. Why? Because you start calling in the energy. It's the way you carry yourself and it's the man I'm telling you the other day I was having a conversation with my son and we were talking about some couple things mind you my son lives on the first floor and I live on the second floor so we're like right above each other but we're always on the phone and we were talking he woke up in the morning with some bumps on his belly I'm like I don't know maybe it was a creepy crawly or something so we're talking about a specific creepy crawly tell me why I called that fucker into my house I literally seen it when I walked in I was like what in the world like you have to know that you, it's very, it's powerful. When you speak it out into existence, it is powerful. I even told my son, oh my God, if I would ever see that in my house, I freaked out. I will freak out. I'm going to scream. And that's exactly what happened. I called it in my house. I don't even want to say the creepy Carly's name because I don't want it in my house no more. I'm a chicken when it comes to that stuff. But that's an example of how powerful your words, negative or positive, they're very powerful and you can call in all these things to existence. So if you want to change the way your life is going, the way your relationship is going, you're wanting to call someone back in or you just want to call someone in general, make sure that the words that you're using are positive, okay? Let go of the negativity, let go of the despair and start throwing out the expectations that you want. You want to be in a committed relationship? What do you tell universe? I am in a committed relationship. I am with the person that is perfect for me. I am with the person that loves me. I do have a good job. I make good money. My bank account is abundant. It's all about speaking it out into existence so you can call it into your life. Final messages here for Aries, universe, archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians. Final messages, please. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Sorry, King of Wands. Yup. Being very, very passionate about what you want. Okay, being very passionate about what you want in your life. This is how you need to carry yourself. The king of wands here says what he wants and means what he wants. Okay, and this has to be you, Aries. Fire sign all the way. You must call it out exactly the way you want it. You want you want to have, have financial financial stability? Then throw it out into the universe. I am financially stable. I have a full bank account. Now, let's be realistic. We can't put out there, I'm going to win a million dollars tomorrow, which I really hope universe is listening to me right now. But... We have to be we have to be humble with our request as well. I want to be I am financially stable. I want to be in this place or I want to do this. You have to put it out there as if it's already already happened. That's the power of your spoken word. You need to put it out there. You need to let go of all the negativity so you can start calling in all this positive energy that is literally just waiting for you out there. Okay? All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you some clarity. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.